Oh, hello there. Oh, yes. You're well known enough to come in. Welcome to Barstow North, hero. This is a quiet district, and we like to keep it that way. We don't tolerate uncivil behaviour here, so mind you don't end up in our holding cell. We have a raving lunatic locked up right now, but he won't be seeing many more sunrises, if you know what I mean. Now, Lady Grey desires to speak with you. You'll find her grace in the gardens outside her mansion. This is a great honour, even for a hero, so mind your manners. You've come to the right place. Get after those awful minions on the cliff tops. Help me before it's too late. Finally, someone to talk to. You've got to help me out. The mayor's having me executed. That's what happens when you start asking too many questions round here. That woman is a demon, but no one will believe me. Just because I was wrong about the guards controlling our dreams by spiking our water supplies. Her sister was an angel. Would have made a wonderful mayor. And I know Lady Grey killed her. I just know it. You have to help me prove it. Otherwise, Bowerstone will remain in her clutches, and I'll be executed! Yes, finally! We're going to bring that crazy witch down! All you need to do is get her dead sister to tell you what really happened. Don't give me that look. We all know ghosts exist. You've seen them, I've seen them, we've all seen them! Lady Grey's sister, Amanda, had a sweetheart called Rodri. Nice guy, usually hangs out in Barrowfields. If anyone knows how to entice her out of oblivion, it's him. He said every day would be a little better. Amanda? Yes, of course I knew her. I think about her all the time. She was so beautiful, so pure. She was afraid her sister would find out about us and use it against her, stop her from becoming mayor. I'm no noble after all. So we'd meet in secret in the grey house cellar. I would sneak out to the stables and flash my lamp three times to let her know I was there. One night, she didn't come out, and I found the cellar door locked. Her sister, Elvira, Lady Grey as she's now known, told me she had died of some terrible illness. Then the house was abandoned, and I never even got to... I'm sorry. It's too painful to talk about.
Rodri, is that you? I've waited for you so long and I... Wait, you're not Rodri. I prayed that he would rescue me, but he never came. When the air ran out, I closed my eyes and imagined I was dying in his arms. Now I'll never see him again. And my sister has taken everything. People must know the truth about her. Take this letter. Show the world what really happened. So, now you know the truth. Amanda was a weak, romantic fool. She didn't have what it takes to run Bowerstone. She would have turned the whole place into an egalitarian slum. But don't worry your pretty head with such big words. We can still be together. You can still have me. Wouldn't you like to be mayor? Think of the power. It can all be yours. Just hand over the letter. What? No one refuses Lady Grey. No one. You're just like the rest of those imbeciles. Infecting my city with their petty little lives. Fine then. Tell everyone. Have your moment of glory. But I will return one day. And I will wash away all the filth with your blood. Remember that, hero. Ah, there is an important quest card in the guild for you. Her sister. Wow. I've never been right before. Eh, no one will call me Crazy Gethin after this. Lady Grey passed through here earlier, and it looked like she was leaving for good. Now, if you would just tell the sheriff to let me out, he might even have a reward for you. Unless he's secretly Jack of Blades in a cunning disguise. Yes, that would make sense. I'll have to tell everyone as soon as I'm free. Unbelievable! So Gethin was right all along! Oh, I suppose we'd better release him. He'd better not start that nonsense about me spiking the water supply again, though. We'll have to find a new mayor, too. Huh. I don't suppose you'll be interested in the job. You have proved your worth, after all. <laughs> <laughs> 